In March this year, Mumbai's temperature hit 39 degrees. But on the ground, some areas felt way hotter. When we started working on Mumbai's climate action plan, our task was really to break down the heat experience in Mumbai and help the government in identifying high-risk zones and push for action there. So when we started measuring heat trends across the city, we had data available only at three weather stations, which essentially gave us the overall city profile, but did not give us data at a sub-locality level. That's when Google Earth Engine came in. It's an open data platform that gives you access to multiple sources of satellite imagery and very easy, intuitive ways to make sense of all of this data. By plugging in just a few lines of code, we can generate maps not just of surface temperatures, but also vegetation cover, roofing material across the city. Looking at these two areas, they are hardly one kilometer apart, but our analysis showed a shocking five degrees temperature difference. Dharavi's lack of vegetation and roofing material directly contributes to these high temperatures. And seeing this trend pop up in pockets across the city, that was the aha moment for us. Now we could show government officials the impact in their own localities. Google Earth Engine ने जो map का visual element हमको दिखाया, उसमें जो micro level पे study किया था, उसके जरिए हम लोगों को उनके जो analysis किया, उसमें confidence develop हुआ. अब ये high risk area demarcate करके उसका solution हम लोग अच्छी तरह plan कर सकते हैं. The next step is to understand ground level issues and implement measures on roofing and greening in these areas. We've started the Andheri Ghatkopar Link Road project that essentially transforms eight kilometers of highway into greenway. So these are small steps, but steps in the right direction. With these interventions taking shape, we're building a city which will be much more equitable, adaptable and resilient in the future.